Hello everyone, I am Prajal Agarwal and today we will solve this problem, family tree. This problem is written as easy medium on code chef and you need the concept of DP on trees to solve this problem. So guys, if you haven't had the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and then come back and see the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given a rooted tree. So let us take this tree for example. Without loss of generality, let us say that our root is equal to 1. Now in this problem, we are given that every node has a value which is given by W of i. So we say that W of i tells you the value of node i. Now in this problem, we define P of i as parent of node i. In the problem, it is given that P of root, which is the parent of root is equal to minus 1. So this is how we can identify which node is the root of this tree. We also define descendant of i comma j. This means that i is the descendant of j if i belongs to subtree of j. So for example, 3 belongs to subtree of 1. Hence, we can say that 3 is a descendant of 1. 4 and 5 are not descendant of each other. Why? Because they do not belong to subtree of one another. So, in this problem, we need to find two nodes i, j such that i is descendant of j or j is descendant of i and the value that is mod of wi minus w of j, this value is maximized. And the conditions are that i should not be equal to j. And either i is descendant of j, which means that descendant of i comma j is true, or descendant of j comma i is true. In short, we need to find the maximum value of w of i minus w of j such that either i lies in subtree of j or j lies in subtree of i, and we have to max find the maximum value over all such pairs in the given tree. We have to output this value into our answer. In the constraints, we are given n as 2 to 10 to the power 5 and w of i will range from minus 10 to the power 8 to 10 to the power 8. So now let us look at some test cases. So in the test case, we are given the parent array. We know that the parent of root is minus 1, which means that 2 is our root. So this is the root node. Parent of 1 is 2. So we will add this h. Next, we are given that parent of 3 is 4. So we have a node 3 and the parent of 3 is 4. Next, we are given that the parent of 4 is 2. So we will add this h. So we are given this 3. Now this is the value array. So the value of 1 is 5. This is 10. This is 6 and this is 12. Now we need to find two nodes i comma j such that they have the maximum difference between w of i minus w of j and the condition is that i belongs to subtree of j or j belongs to subtree of i. So if you consider all these pairs of node then we have 2 comma 1. The difference is equal to 10 minus 5 which is 5. Then we have 2 comma 4. The difference is equal to 2. Then we have 2 comma 3, the difference is equal to 4, then we have 4 comma 3, the difference is equal to 6. We have only these pairs. So we will basically take the maximum which is equal to 6 as given in the output. So now let us look at the solution. In this problem we are given a tree with n nodes. Every node has a value associated with it. Our goal is to find the maximum of w of i minus w of j over all such pairs such that either i belongs to subtree of j or j belongs to subtree of i. This just means that i is descendant of j or j is descendant of i. So guys one of the way that you can think of is let us say that we consider a node i and now we iterate over all its subtree all its node belonging to its subtree. Then we can simply take the answer as maximum of answer comma 
the value of this node which is w of i minus w of j where j belongs to subtree of i and we do this for all i so as you can see that we are just checking all pair of node such that one node is descendant of the other and if that is the case then we will simply take answer is equal to max of answer comma the difference between their values so for all i we will look at for all j belonging to subtree of i and we can simply initialize answer is equal to max of answer comma mod of w i minus w of j so guys if you look at this code we are iterating over all the nodes and for all the nodes we are iterating over all its subtree hence the time complexity of this code is order of n square and this will give you tle so now we need to optimize this above approach so now let us say that we are calculating the answer for some node i so guys according to the brute force essentially what we are doing is we will look at all its subtree and then we will compute answer is equal to max of answer comma w of i minus w of j where j is subtree of i so guys when we are calculating the answer for this node let us say that we plot all the values on a number line so we have w of i the value of node i and we have let's say w of j1 over here then w of j2 over here then let us say we have w of j3 over here and all these values now guys an important observation that you need to see is that you want to calculate the difference of this value with some other value that is nothing but the distance on this number line however we want to calculate the maximum only because any other point that lies between the minimum and the maximum is not of any importance to us we are only let us say that this is this is the w of maximum that we get and this is w of minimum then to get the maximum difference from w of i we are only interested in the maximum or the minimum because only these two can give you the maximum difference any other point that lies in between these two values will not give you maximum difference why because you have another value that can give you a larger difference hence at every node i if we store the value of minimum comma maximum of all the nodes that belong to the subtree then we can actually calculate the answer in order one time we just have to take the difference of w of i with the minimum value and the maximum value and this is basically our solution so our idea is that for all i we will pre compute the value of minimum of j comma maximum of j where j belongs to subtree of i and this can be pre calculated using a simple dfs function now to calculate the answer we will simply iterate over all i and we will write answer is equal to max of answer comma the first distance we consider is w of i with w of max so this can be written as max of i minus w of i the next is w of i with w of min so this can be written as w of i minus min of i and what is this max and min so we define max of i as this is equal to maximum of w of j such that j belongs to subtree of i similarly we define min of i this is equal to minimum of w of j such that j belongs to subtree of i and these values can be pre calculated using a simple dfs function 
So as you can see that we can calculate the answer in order one time if we have the values of max of i and min of i. We will do this for all i and take maximum over all such pairs. So now let us look at the implementation. We will look at the DFS function that is used to calculate the minimum and the maximum of a subtree and to calculate the answer in the same function. Maximum diff will store our final answer and we will print this variable at the end. The idea is that we will perform a simple DFS. If the current node is a leaf node, then we will return the minimum and the maximum which is nothing but the value of that node. We will do this using a variable called answer. Answer will store the first value of answer will store the minimum value. The next value will store the maximum value. So if it is the leaf node, which is if parent is not equal to minus one and the size of the adjacency list of tree of SRC is one. Then in that case, we simply return value SRC comma value SRC because the minimum and the maximum will be the same. So let us take this tree for example. We are at a leaf node in the DFS. So we will return the value which is 12 comma 12. This is return 2, 6 to this node 3. Now when it arrives at node 3, it has no other children. Hence it will compute the maximum difference as maximum of maximum difference comma value src minus answer dot first which is considering that this value lies in the middle. This is value. Over here we have w of min and over we have w of max on the number line. So it will compute 6 minus 12 because the minimum is 12 which is minus 6 or it will take the maximum of 12 minus 6 which is dub answer dot second minus value of src which is equal to 6. It will take the maximum of both since the maximum is equal to 6 so our current answer which is max diff is equal to 6. Now we need to update the minimum and the maximum. The maximum will remain 12. However, the minimum will change because the minimum is new minimum is 6. So from this we will return 6 comma 12. Now when we arrive at node 2, we have another subtree. So we will go on to that branch. Over here this is a leaf node. So we will return 5 comma 5. Now when we are at this node, we will calculate the minimum of both the subtrees and maximum of both the subtrees, which is calculated over here. So when we get the answer for the child node, we update our answer dot first as minimum of answer comma first comma child node of first and same for the second. In the second, we take the maximum instead of minimum. We again calculate the max difference. We update our current minimum and maximum and we return the minimum and the maximum. When the DFS function returns, max difference will store the maximum difference which is equal to 6. So as you can see that the time complexity of this code is order of n because we are visiting every node twice in the DFS function. The space complexity is order of n. So now let us look at the code. So first of all in the solve function we will take in all the inputs. Then we will initialize root is equal to 1. Now we will iterate over the parent array. If the parent is minus one, then we initialize root is equal to i. Else we simply create the tree in the form of adjacency list. We will call this function get max different with the root value. The parent of root is minus one. After we have called this function, we will simply print the value of max diff. Max diff is a variable that will store our final answer. Value of i is basically the value of ith node. In the get max difference function, we will do a simply DFS. Given the current node and its parent, we will check if parent is not equal to minus one and tree of SRC is equal to one. This means that the current node is a leaf node. If it is a leaf node, we will simply return the minimum and the maximum, which is nothing but the value of that node only. We will use this variable answer. This is a temporary variable that will store the minimum and the maximum value for the subtree of the current node i. We will iterate over all its children of the current node. If child is not equal to parent, then we will call the DFS function over all its children. When we get the minimum and the maximum value from one branch of children, we will update the answer variable as minimum and maximum accordingly. Next, we need to update our answer. To do that, we will simply take maximum of maximum difference that we have till now. 
assuming that answer dot first is minimum we will write value of src minus the minimum value or maximum value minus value of src we will update the current minimum and the current maximum and simply return the answer variable after the dfs function returns max diff will store the final answer we will print it at the end so guys this is pretty much the whole code try to code it yourself and if you face any issue then come back and see it again so guys i hope you understood the problem clearly if you have any questions drop a comment in the comment section like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from code chef thank you and goodbye